Okay, welcome to Tech Tip 22. Uh, we're down here, it's kind of a tight engine space. <clears throat> we don't have one of these set up at school, but I do have one on my boat. So, wanted to film this uh, for Matt's diesel class and, and for our channel and our students. So, um, this is about diesel fuel uh, electric priming pumps. These things will pay for themselves, either in saved time, if a boat owner's paying, you know, technician rates, they'll be, they're more safe, uh, cleaner, neater, the whole thing. So how it works is this. So this is a Walboro little electric priming pump. It's got a switch and it's been on this boat for about 40 years. The fuel normally comes in, goes across this valve, dual ray cores, really nice way to go. These were built before you could buy a ray core manifold system. But this is the primary filter. Vacuum gauge goes over through this secondary filter on the Anmar. And so here is the tech tip. We're going to go through and show you how fast it is when replacing this filter. So I've drained out this filter. Normally you wouldn't do that, but I just wanted to show this little electric priming pump. So if you've got your fuel filter service and you've got your old element out of your primary you put your new one in and of course it takes a little longer because you're going to replace the o-rings around the lid and the cover but what we can do is turn on this electric priming pump you can hear it it's a little pulse pump we open this valve oh forgot the key part here you have to close the little bypass Otherwise, the pump just circulates in here. So you close the bypass off. By the way, super important you remember to open that when you go back to getting underway. And so now, if I bring this down here and we open up this pump, there comes our fuel. You can see how fast. Now, way easier than keeping a gallon of clean fuel around in here. And then we just come up here to the top and we're just waiting until we get this new element full of fuel and then we'll have no air pockets left over. And so it happens really easily, especially if I hadn't drained it all the way. But uh, hear that, just pulse, pulse, there it comes. So I stop it, I let the filter absorb the fuel. We just pulse it a couple more times. Until we have it full, we have no air, and then it's a matter of reinstalling the lid and our vacuum gauge. And just like that, fuel filter service. We're gonna shut off the pump. We're gonna open the two valves to the engine and we're gonna leave this one for a second because I wanna show you how easy it is on the secondary filter as well. Okay, same thing, let's do the secondary. So we're gonna, we've got the little valve closed here so that the priming pump is in line between the tank and the filters. It's going through here and over here, I've just spun on a new secondary filter. Okay, rookie mistake. We see this all the time where people pre-fill these with quote clean fuel and uh, other things. You never wanna do that, okay? Because that high pressure pump on this engine needs super clean fuel. And so you always want to have the fuel going through the filter. Now you can use the lift pump on the engine. Um, this also has a little priming pump up here, you know, that you can push up and down a few times. But what's even easier is I'm just going to turn on the electric priming pump again. And if I just crack my bleed screw loose, we will see the air bubbles come out of here oh, and once we get a there it is a solid stream of fuel we shut that off and we can shut off our priming pump over here done open the valve for normal service I wipe up a little bit of fuel that just uh, got down there most of it got caught in that nice oil absorb I go up start my engine. It can be that easy changing fuel filters and removing all of the air. Invest in a little electric priming pump. Thanks for watching.